All right, so there's a lot of hype on this new um, RPM filter firmware for your BLHeli S ESCs. They are free now. Um, just a full disclosure here, I'm gonna show you how to flash the firmware to your ESCs, but um, I haven't had any luck with them yet. So I'm putting this on the Tiny Hawk Freestyle and I'm getting death rolls in this on the latest version 16.75. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm going to try some more uh, different models, maybe a five inch, um, a few other things, but uh, just letting you know that I think that this is still a work in progress. So when you test this out, you want to take all your typical safety precautions, make sure that um, you're not anywhere close to the quad where it's like going to flip out on you. Just be aware of that. It, I, I know that it is working for a lot of people out there. It's just I haven't gotten to work yet, but a lot of people have asked me to uh, demonstrate how to flash the firmware because it's a little bit different uh, actually not a whole lot different but you just have to get the files from somewhere else uh, than you normally would and flash the GACs and then you have to obviously go through the normal RPM filter setup on, uh, on Betaflight um, this is not about tuning or anything like that it's just going to be a flashing tutorial so all the links are going to be down in the description to the files you need to get the first thing you need to get is the Beale Heli Configurator, the latest version as of uh, the release of this video, the recording of this video is uh, 1.20. So you go to that page, go ahead and download the file. It's gonna, uh, for me, it's gonna be uh, Win64 1.20. So go ahead and click that, download the file. You're gonna download it to your computer somewhere on your you know, downloads folder. And then you're going to wanna to go to this other link to get the hex file for your ESC. But first you need to know which ESC uh, you have and you have to go to the configurator for that first. So I'll come back to this in a second. You're gonna to go to your downloads folder. You're gonna right click on the file that you downloaded. You can hit extract all. I have a program called 7-zip that I'll use here to extract my files to this folder in the same folder. And we'll go ahead and open that folder up. And in that folder, you'll see BL, BL Heli Configurator. And inside here is going to be the standalone file, the executable. You're going to want to run that. So we'll go ahead and double click that. And after you run that, you get this program. Uh, at this point, you want to go ahead and plug in the drone flight controller into your USB ports. And you'll get a COM port. Um, if you are having issues with your um, USB drivers, then I have another video I'll link down in the description to fix your USB driver. That's a completely separate video. But if everything's working, you should get a separate COM port. You're going to need to plug in your battery. And don't do what I'm doing here with the props on. You should do this with the props off. And then we'll hit connect. And you want to hit read setup. And I've actually already flashed uh, the ESCs in this one with um, it's SH90. That's the target for this particular board on the Tiny Hawk Freestyle and I have the latest version 16.75 on here. Now to get that file, let me show you where to go next. So you're gonna to go to this link here. It's a uh, GitHub download section, and you're going to want to get whatever version here. I'm gonna get a hex file 16.75. Click in that folder, and you'll see a huge list of hex files in here. And you want to scroll down to the one that you is for your ESC. If you flash the wrong one, you're probably going to burn a motor or ESC. So I'm going to find SH90. You want to click on this. And then you're going to get this page here with a bunch of basically looks like gibberish. Go over here where it says raw. You want to right click here, it says raw, and then hit save link as. And then make sure it says save type as hex, not text. If you save it as a different type of file, then it won't flash. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that here to my downloads folder. Okay, so then once that is downloaded, I'm gonna go back into BL Heli Configurator. You're going to hit flash all. And then over here, we're gonna select flash or select file manually. And we're gonna select the file that we downloaded, SH90. And it will then start flashing all the ECs at once. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, with the EC is now flashed with that uh, version of the firmware. Probably, obviously for me, it's not working, so I'm gonna have to wait for 
uh, a newer version, maybe 16.76 might fix my problem. I don't know. I may go back to an older version and see if that helps me my particular issue with the death rolls. Um, but yeah, that's how you would flash it. And uh, this obviously doesn't cover how to uh, set up RPM filter. It's basically all I have to do is go into the Betaflight configurator and turn on uh, bidirectional D shot. And then you'll see in the motor tab that there's like this error percentage under each particular motor, then you'll know that it's working. Anyway, that's pretty much it for getting uh, the new firmware onto your ESCs. Um, give it a try. Let me, know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know if it's working for you or not. Talk to you guys later.